Making Michigan History. And being the first black woman to sit on the Michigan Supreme Court, every time I say it, um, it usually brings up <laughs> very strong emotions. Emotional because Kyra Harris Bolden feels the significance of her appointment as the first African American woman to serve on the Michigan Supreme Court. As we celebrate the start of Black History Month, our Rhonda Walker sat down with Justice Bolden to talk to her about this historic new appointment, how she turned her painful family history of injustice into a career of seeking justice for all. Rhonda? Absolutely. Justice Bolden will be the first to tell you that law actually wasn't even on her radar when she grew up in Southfield. She aspired to be become a psychologist, but while at college at Grand Valley State University, both a conversation with a young girl and a revelation about the brutal lynching of her great grandfather changed the path of her life forever. I was so impassioned to um, go into the justice system because of the injustice that occurred in my own family. The story of your grandfather is a painful one. It's a large part of my personal journey and it being Black History Month, I think all of that is really important to show the progress that we've made. Take me back to your education and your, your work experience. So I grew up in Southfield, Michigan, which is a majority uh, minority community around people that look like me, but they were doctors and lawyers and business owners. And so I never grew up with a complex about what I could and could not achieve. A little girl she met in college while volunteering for an after school program gave her a different perspective. I said, Miss Kyra, Miss Kyra, can girls go to college? And I said, yes, I'm a girl, I'm in college. And if you don't know you could go to college, you certainly don't know that you could be a doctor, a lawyer. So I learned a very valuable lesson about representation. Let's talk about the importance of representation and having your voice. You are looking at the law as written, but everyone has a life experiences and a perception and a lens to which they view things. Only that view lacked diversity, despite many black female justices in lower courts waging powerful but failed campaigns for decades. I would not be here today without their efforts. Justice Bolden herself fell short in the 2022 election. Then the historic appointment by Governor Whitmer when Chief Justice Bridget McCormack retired. The Michigan Supreme Court should be reflective of the diversity, background, experiences, perspectives of Michigan. Now that you're among these seven justices, is it different than what you expected? As a representative, I was able to get five bills passed into law, which is no easy feat and you know there are over 100 people that basically you have to convince in the Michigan Supreme Court there is just seven of us. Justice Bolden got her law degree from U of D Mercy Law School and worked in criminal defense and litigation then four years in Congress. For a lot of working mothers you are an inspiration. I never wanted my daughter to look at me and ever think that she held me back. For her and her husband, it's been an emotional, full circle journey. A school mural alongside Justice Katanji Brown Jackson. I definitely was very emotional. What is your advice to young people? I was a regular person trying to figure out how to make the biggest impact. Surrounding yourself with mentors and people that truly have your best interests at heart. Show us that picture of your of the four generations, all there witnessing history. The hope in my grandmother to see her granddaughter become a justice on the highest court in the state of Michigan after what happened to her father. We've gone from lynching to law school mm -hmm. and we've gone from injustice to capital J justice. How does it feel carrying that weight? It seems heavy. Heavy but necessary. I think my background and experiences have prepared me um, for that. And during the past four years in the Michigan State Representative for the 35th District, Justice Bolden was, she became the first black woman to represent the villages of Franklin, Beverly Hills, and Bingham Farms, a district that also included Southfield and Lathrop mm -hmm. Village. So a, a, a few moments circle. of history. Right. Yeah. yeah, and that's an extremely diverse population there. Well, think about it. You're talking about some of the wealthiest communities in Metro mm -hmm. Detroit, majority minority communities as well, and then you're combining Combining that with people that need food assistance to people that didn't and all at the same time and she just says that she feels fortunate to be able to have that background and have that experience and bring it all 
to the court. I was at an event with her and these young people just ran up to her yes. like she was a rock star. Yes. It was so cool. And she said that's one of the one of the most meaningful parts about it yeah. is seeing kids come up to her and, and her representing someone to them that they look up to. That's and amazing. she said she's ready to, to live up to the expectations. So. Great story. Thanks, yeah. Thank you.